quick video on how to fix your trophy timestamp. Now, like we want to, for instance, all of these. I know it shows zeros on everything. I ain't really played anything on this name, but um. No matter what I click into, let's see. they're gonna show those last played. And like, if I actually had a trophy, for instance, like this one, um, like that. See, well, if I earned it, this earn date will still be like that. So we're gonna fix all of those. See if I can let me see if I can I'm gonna pop a trophy that way you don't know for sure. Let's go to uh, library. Mm, quick trophy would be the quickest one I found was the this Larry game. Let's, let's run this here. Gonna pop a trophy real quick. Let me see something here. So okay, I'll let the game have it. As you can see, it popped down in the middle, which, you know, everything, sh the last thing you should have played would have been at the top. Oh, wait a minute. I do already have this trophy. Okay, so, well, there we go then. There goes the trophy I popped. Long time ago, I don't know when, but it doesn't show the trophy date. Awesome. Okay, so we'll use that one. Actually, I can tell when by looking at the... Uh, so I popped this back in 2020. That was 8-17-2020. That's when I got that. Okay. So. Let's just get this fixed. So first thing first. If we have multiple accounts. Uh, like I have four different accounts on here. So like. You go to, and the way I'm gonna show you is doing the USB. You can also do it through FTP, but I'm gonna show you the USB version. Um, I'm gonna go here, all the way down, and here, and then multi user. So these are the four accounts that I have, and they always stay in order, as you can see user one, two, three, and four. So the one that I'm using right now is user three B's, as you can see down there. So using the USB, it's gonna stay in that order. So we're gonna go down to let's stop this game. Let's go find that. Uh, you need a, you're gonna need that uh, file manager. time I use this app on this name so I guess that's why I went through that but anyway so you want to go to uh, all the way down I'm trying to do this with one hand uh, user then you want to go to home and remember how I said they were in order 
one, two, three. Remember, I was using the third one. What's this one? It should be bees. Click on it. And you want to go to trophies. And you want to copy this database. So hit triangle. You want to hit, uh, I can't move. Why? Okay, D pad. Okay, you got to use the D pad. Copy that. Go back all the way back to the beginning. Can't go back any further. Go up to uh, MNT and go to. I got my uh, USB in the in the first uh, slot down there, which should be zero. And we want to copy this. I already got a folder named DB in here, and I don't want to overwrite it. Well, actually, I can. Yeah, it's fine. Just overwrite it. So, go anywhere in here and just hit the triangle button and hit paste. Pad. Paste. It's going to ask you I want to overwrite it. Yeah. Okay, so it overwrote what I had before. In your case, you never done it, so you, it's not going to ask you to overwrite. You're just going to see a big copy bar. So, that's done. Now, right, what you want to do is take it out. Take this USB, plug it into your computer. Now, you're going to want to go to is my USB there. Now you're going to want to download this program right here. Trophy Timestamp Fixer. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download that. And you want to, going to run it. After you download it, you don't have to install it or anything. Once you download it, it's going to look like this. So you run it. This is going to pop up blank for a second that it's going to ask you what database or select a database so click on that and then you go to where it is which this is it here so you want to go in that folder and you want to do the local local go down to open and then this is going to happen since I guess I don't have many games it went like ultra mega fast so and that's it once you see the done there you can close this here and that's it now you're gonna want to take your memory card back out put it back in same slot or you can get a different slot whatever you want it makes it easier same slot and you're gonna want to go back to your PlayStation and then you're gonna want to go back into that program okay here we go take that folder that you just did you can either take the file or the folder it doesn't really matter and uh, copy it I keep trying to use the analog stick and you can't you got to use the directional pad uh, copy cut whatever you want you want to do um, like I said uh, you can go in here and you can just copy the local file that's the only one that we worked with and just copy that if you want to it doesn't really matter um, which we can do that I'll just show you so copy this copy back 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 all the way back then go down to user Home. and in my case 
I'm using this profile, which was the third one. Go down to Trophy. Now, if you copy the DB folder, you want to just paste it right here. But if you copy that file, which was this, then you want to paste that file here. D-pad, paste. Now, in our case, we already have a file there, so it's going to ask us, do we want to overwrite it? You want to hit yes, and that's it. Now, let's go and check it. If it didn't pop up, we got to just restart the console and then come back in and it'll be there. But let's check and see if we fixed it. Larry, see it's at the top because that was the last game I played. So it, it should have fixed it. Go to it. There it is. There's that date. Remember what I said in the beginning was 17 or 8, 17, 20. There it goes. And that's what everything or let's hit English, information see last played remember before it was no matter what I clicked on it was saying last played nothing now it's showing they're all showing now There you go. That's how you did that. I think it was this game that I had tried to look at. And that's how you fix them all. Real simple. Like I said, you can do it the FTP way. So go into that same, those folders that, uh, so if you're on the FTP, you want to find a user. And then you want to go into the home. And then you want to pick your profile which whatever one you use and if you it's so much simpler if you only got one profile on there you only see that but if you got different profiles on there then to know the order of which one you want to do like I said you would have to go into uh, here to find out which one which order of the name that you're using that'll be the order so Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe.